Okay, guys, we are going to be checking out The Shore today. The Shore is a Lovecraftian-inspired, uh, I guess, walking simulator. There could be some adventure or survival horror elements to it. I don't really know. I just saw a trailer for it. I thought it looked amazing, and uh, I wanted to check it out. Oh, we're already on Ultra. Texture streaming, I guess. I don't know. Okay, if they don't load correctly. All right, so I'm just making sure we are, everything's set up well here. Um, <clears throat> I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a let's play with this or uh, I'm kind of thinking I have uh, what, the Sinking City that I did and um, a couple of other Lovecraftian games that I would like to sort of talk about together as, at once. But uh, maybe I'll just put this up as a let's play if it's not super long. I did feel it was a little uh, pricey and it's on sale right now I think the normal price is either 20 or $30 and it's on sale right now for about 12 so we're gonna check it out let's go ahead and do new game So far, so good. Uh-oh, we're having some frame rate issues. Oh, you know why? Oh, damn it. I think I know where we're having frame rate issues. If they persist, um, I, I might restart this whole rodeo. Uh, I installed this on my external, which is only 5,400 RPM, so that might be the issue that we're having. Another thing that I find just slightly disappointing is uh, in the uh, promotional material for this game, it seemed to have much better graphics. I, I think they also did a timed demo. I really wish they wouldn't do that with these games. Um, I missed... Um, what the hell is the name? Graven? Yeah, Graven. Graven, which is a sort of uh, immersive sim-esque inspired... It's, it's more like... A, it's more like Strife or um, Cyber Mage than it is like a, like a traditional immersive sim. I guess the closest would be like maybe Bioshock or something. But it is, a lot of people are considering an immersive sim. I wanted to cover it. And the fucking demo was timed. I didn't get it in time. I was busy that week. And I was like, oh, I'll just download it on the weekend. And then it was gone. So anyways, we're, I'm going to shut up and we can check this out now. Message in a bottle. Seems that all of our hopes are drifting away. Like these bottles should be. They are always replete with irons of something that's leading me back here. If you are reading this, I need your help. Okay. Got my first note. There's a little seagull. Yeah, like I said, you know, the promotional material made the graphics look a hell of a lot better. I mean, they're not bad. I'm, I'm sure this was done by, like, one or two people. But, um, you know, the stills and some of the other stuff I saw. Had I been able to download the demo first, my expectations would have been uh, managed a little bit better. Is his sanity and his will. Walking along the shore reminded me of the walks I used to have with my wife. For when I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil and no and walk through. What the hell does that say? It looks like O A N K. Okay. 
but I'll walk with my eyes open. Um, okay, so we picked up that. I guess we got shipwrecked here. This might be our ship. It probably is, because that looks like our pocket watch. That's a plastic jug. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That's a plastic jug, which means we are not in, I don't know, the 18th or the 19th century or something. We are probably in modern times, more or less. I like my Lovecraft games set at the turn of the century or the 20s. 30s and 40s, maybe, it's, you know, is the max uh, forward in time I'd be willing to go, but... Uh, I'm not saying I'm against the modern stuff, just... I just didn't know if these nests were important. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go grab another messenger model uh it this is shaping up to be a little bit more like dear esther than i want it to be i mean dear esther with cthulhu and it was certainly more interesting than dear esther actually dear esther was okay towards the end the beginning is boring we armed ourselves and walked along the shore to our surprise we came across other ships that had wrecked without any trace of survivors we built a graveyard for ships says it's because of the volcanic dust. We think he's gone mad. Sounds like the captain was right. This also looks to be a tropical island. So I've got that, that, okay, so all I've got right now is the pocket watch and this photo. Well, there may be more to it than that if I have to actually open my inventory for stuff. Unless they're just collectibles. was lost in the stranded sea. He never came back. Now I know where he lies. Your misfortunes could have drove him. Yeah, I guess I was hoping for some more visual fidelity. I'm, I'm going to check the settings real quick, though. Okay. Menus are just a little bit broken. No, we're on ultra. 60 frames a second. We're supposed to be... Okay, just making sure, guys, because like I said, you know, that the screenshots for this looked gorgeous, and I'm a little confused why the game is not as... It's, again, it's not a bad-looking game. They've definitely got some competent um, competency with, uh, you know, whatever software this is using. It's either Unreal 4 or Cry Engine. I think it's Unreal 4, to be honest. Could be Unity. Doesn't really feel or look like Unity. Feels more like Unreal. in his absence only pain accompanies me towards my demise I was forced to leave the lighthouse there's something wrong in all of us only the slumbering God can save us now I wonder who that's gonna be God is he talking about Cthulhu Rillier I can't read the rest of it he cut off his arm to as an offering to Cthulhu, maybe? Some interesting water effects there. Again, it just released. So I've already noticed it's a just a just a tad bit buggy already. I'm sure most of this stuff will be patched very soon.
whenever I do these kind of things, I, I always wonder, it's like, is it better to do like a little review and just post some footage together, is or is it better to uh, just do the Let's Play? That looks pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and take what? I can't take it. That's weird. Well, if we can't figure out a puzzle, we know where to start looking first. This is definitely those palm trees making me think of uh, South Pacific or something. This little monolith over there, and an obelisk right there. And let's go check out the lighthouse first. I'm gonna turn my volume up. Oh no, it's there. We go. As we see Doc Fate in the sand for the last time, she asked me to tell her one of my stories about the wild sea. I could hear her inching her breaths, getting shorter and shorter. So this is like a Cthulhu pill bug sculpture thing, bust, and the other one was some sort of deer god thing, and there's a shark's mouth. Seems as if we might need to get down there. Okay, so we got a Cthulhu head, we got a pill bug, and we've got a uh, sort of deer dragon monster thing. It's not Dagon, though, because he's like a fish monster. I'll be sure to put uh, a link either in recommended videos or in the description or something for my um, Sinking City Let's Play. And I do need to upload part zero of that. Part zero is just the beginning of the game, about the first 45 minutes or an hour that, due to recording issues, didn't make it into the uploads yet. But I can fix it, I just gotta record some voiceover for it, so. All right, looks like this is a cellar. We don't have a key for it. These look like those cages they used to suspend people in. All right, what the hell is this? Uh, this is an upside down moth monster thing. Looks like some of one Lovecraft's other descriptions of like, um, I think like Whisper in Darkness, those weird lobstrosity creatures. Got another photo of me and my daughter, I assume. That is a big ass shark. Some teeth are missing, though. I don't see any missing teeth. Oh, maybe, like, right there. Damn. Yeah, uh, I would lose my mind if anything that... I, I don't know if anything that big exists anymore. And if it does, I'm never going swimming again. What I, I usually swim in the Mediterranean. It should be okay. Sorry, guys. I'm going to check audio levels, make sure that it's not blasting me. Okay, no, we're good, yeah. I just hope that you guys can hear the game. It should be okay. Yeah, look at that. Ima imagine swimming next to something that big. I don't think great whites get that big. Pretty sure they don't. Like I said, if they do, I'll just never go in the water again. the hell is that noise? I've seen something familiar from where I come from. 
Okay. Is there a different button? Alright, let's put it down. Uh, I'm gonna go to view controls, interact, pick up items, jump, press, run, hold, sprint, press to fight back. Oof, it's gonna be combat. Okay, so we can't pick up those. Here's another coin. I assume they're gonna be some sort of puzzle about it. If this game turns out to be more like Lovecraftian Mist, I am more than fine with that. That is that is something I would be very much want. Yes, please. Okay, he's not gonna narrate okay the artifact we found this statue it looks ancient our captain says we should take it back with us and that it could make us rich david on the other hand believes that a foul stench of evil dwells within it what utter rubbish from the moment we wrecked here he hasn't stopped talking about bad luck and otherworldly omens i heard him talking to himself about throwing it back to the sea i'm almost certain he's mad he's obsessed with these disgusting leeches he found he can't stop talking about how these worms have at least nine stomachs, and more than 30 brains, and at least 18 testicles. <laughs> Jesus. I was gonna say tentacles too, but that's not what it says. He says that quality matters, quality rather matters rather than quantity. We couldn't stop making jokes about it last night. After some time he took it personally, thinking we were mocking him. He moved to the third floor of the lighthouse to continue his little experiments. Okay. Abnormal body shape. No symmetrical shape that could define a logical form. Asymmetrical mouths all over its body. Quarreling and injured and seemingly forgotten, it's been 27 days since we were here, since we are here, and came across something that our minds still not con cannot comprehend. How could such a thing exist? How does God justify this act? How could he allow such monsters to roam upon his creation? My mind is terrorized a million times as I try to visualize the beast. My hand is shaking as I draw each line. It is a plague of the mind. I have decided to give it a name, the monster with a thousand mouths. It may seem strange, but I heard a voice, or more like a whisper in my ears, that shivers down my spine. Oh, I'm collecting all the pages, good, so I don't have to worry about if I've already read something or not. And let's grab this one. No eyelids, a short blue tongue, shark eyes. Body structure seems to be very strong. I tried to speak to them, but in return they hissed and growled. They hissed and growled. I'm wondering if this English is not the first language of the people who made this game. Or it was just a typo. It made all kinds of weird noises. No trace of language. You've never seen such creatures before. Something is wrong here, like the gods have forsaken this place and its creations. Or I. That was an I right there. Oh, do you guys see that? tentacled mess on the table there. Oy, oy, oy. It looks like Yogg Sothoth. These fish-like people are no humans at all. They are hostile. They seem to be very aggressive. There's no trace of civilized behavior on them. Yet they seem to understand our movements as they have, as if they have seen humans. Again, there should be as if they have seen humans before. The fish-like deformities on them are are present the fish like deformities on them are pre present they have tried several times to ambush us that's not a sentence the only solution for us is to stay near the lighthouse I will study more these abominations of the deep again well I think with a common air a uh, comma there it might have been a, a proper sentence but might be some issue with the writing again. That's no, uh, I'm not ragging on the developer. If English is not the developer's first language, then, you know, more power to him. The, the writing so far is very good. Um, it's understandable. My wife, English is not her first language, and uh, she makes mistakes like these, but honestly, when she really sets her mind to it, she speaks better than I do, so. Um, it's common mistakes, uh, and uh, the developer should be commended on their efforts, and if English is their first language, then I'm guessing a lot of this is just typos. Which is also fine. I think it's a smaller project by a smaller team, maybe just one or two people. 
This is pretty cool. There's a game I want to stream for you guys. It's called... I want to say Lust from Beyond. And it's kind of like someone took... Uh... Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, cool. We get to keep it. It's called Lust from Beyond, and it's kind of like... If you guys remember that game Scourge that came out a while back... Forms of the sculpture are unknown to me. Yeah, these look like the... I think these are the things from um, At the Mountains of Madness, which I still have yet to finish. Um, is it called Scourge? Scorn. It's called Scorn. And if you guys aren't familiar, it's uh, basically an H.R. Geiger-inspired sort of... Um, you could call it sort of biopunk, I guess. Uh, all of the, the tools you have and all of the weapons you use are like actual like sort of biomechanical creatures that you pick up. The best way I can describe it is... Um, System Shock in an HR Geiger inspired nightmarish hellscape. Um, which is kind of like the final level of System Shock anyways. System Shock 1, I mean. The coin is warm. Uh-oh. Someone was touching it recently. Uh, and it, that is almost certainly a Bioshock reference. Because that's the they don't really make wrenches that look like that anymore. Um, I think it's supposed to be a pipe wrench, and they certainly don't look like that anymore. So that's almost certainly a Bioshock reference. Um, yeah, Scorn looked really cool. It was announced for the previous generation of consoles. It's still not out. The developer says it's still being worked on, but he hasn't really been, he or she or they, haven't really been in communication with anyone for a very long time. So I don't really know what's going on with it. But uh, Lust from Beyond is kind of like this interesting game where you join this society that it's like, it's kind of like uh, Hellraiser where they make contact with this portal that is just it's like a or they make contact with this dimension that's like a dimension of pure sort of carnal pleasure so there's a lot of sort of sexual stuff you know in the game i probably won't stream it because i think it's unstreamable uh there is very graphic <laughs> sexual depictions it's basically pornographic in areas um so i don't think i'll be streaming it but as a lovecraftian game it actually did a very good job it it, it genuinely creeped me out um, and I just played the demo recently and it just got released, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I may do a review, in a, a very highly censored review on it, um, if I end up getting it. But, uh, I, I most certainly won't do a Let's Play or a stream on it. That's an intact boat. That's probably a way off the island. Well, no harm in checking it out. But yeah, it's kind of like, it's doing a lot of things that Scorn did, the, the, the look of the dimension. This dagger looks way too old. But it looks like someone has already wiped clean every part of it. The shapes and sculptures are quite eerie. Mm, cool. Oh, I don't get to keep it. Who made this weird brass floor dial thing? Um... But yeah, so it's it's got this sort of like H.R. Geiger inspired, uh, inspired sort of Lovecraftian nether realm where you go. And that's the sort of pleasure realm, kind of like Hellraiser's realm in the movie Hellraiser. There's a piece missing. Ah, we should probably find the chess piece. It looks to be a bishop. Yes. That's Dagon. This doesn't seem to be any ordinary stature. Every part of it is detailed. My guess is the artist behind the painting was very startled by it. That is some sort of horror coming from the deep out there. Swear I saw something towards the horizon. Behind the mist. It wasn't a whale. It was a great white shark. Its one leg stretched a hundred feet. Submerging its body into the sea. Parasites. Its tentacle mouth. Its spit out black, disgusting, and disfigured mark-like figures. The moment they fell into the sea, they swam away faster than a dolphin. As the mist kept rising, I could barely see the creature. Then 
house on a good sun, I should start placing those talismans I found at the bottom of the lighthouse around the pathways we made. It sounds like there's... Oh, shit! Okay then. I don't see anything swimming away from it. There is a dead shark on the beach. That can't be good. This is almost certainly a Half-Life reference. It's hard to see, but I believe that crowbar, oh no. I thought part of it was painted red. Um, I don't think it's a Half-Life. It could be, but maybe not. Half-Life reference. Okay, so we turn the lighthouse on. Reminds me of the occult my father was a member of. That's like a Yog Sathoth thing. Will we turn the lighthouse on, for better or worse? Oh, we can't use it again. But yeah, Lust from Beyond. Uh, if you guys like Lovecrafting games, check it out. Just be forewarned, yeah, there is, there's a strong, strong sexual content in it. So if that's not really up your alley, um, and I'm not necessarily saying it's up my alley. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, let's choke it out because of that. No, I just thought it was an interesting premise. I got to say, I was a little shocked. Um, by some of it, but uh, so just be be forewarned. If that doesn't really sound like something you'd or something that's like a deal breaker, then just be forewarned. Don't get into it. But um, if you're okay with stuff like, yeah, I think it's a much darker uh, depiction of a, a Hellraiser type situation, in my opinion. Which I thought the premise for that movie was really cool. The second one was also very cool, but the first movie was kind of boring, and I think the rest of them are pretty boring. Um, it's a, once again, it's a movie whose premise is way better than the actual execution. Okay, I can't take those. What do I have in my inventory again? Picked up one of these. I don't think I'm going to have anything to use it on. Maybe I can use it on this. Oh, that's not what I want. The statue is a malevolent aura. I know taking this with me was a grave mistake. Nevertheless, I believe this artifact is connected with the mis to this mysterious island. I have never seen anything similar, and I do not understand what it represents. To me, this is just an abstract piece of art. 
There was a page with some insight about the object, but after explaining how it was retrieved, the author went on a rather morbid tangent. Am I missing a page? Uh, we better go back, just in case. Oh, I forgot, we got a key for the cellar, so that's what we're going to do next. A little mummified dude here. How did they manage to let him die in here? What made them forsake their civil ways? Why is he still so well preserved? That's the bishop chest piece that we're missing. It's got cornbread and white wine, it looks like, and pears. What an interesting uh, last meal. Let's grab this. I had to hide. I had to. I ran, I climbed the rocks, and tried to hide. That's when I fell into a pit of dead bodies. Their flesh looked rotten, but petrified, as if their soul sucked dry out of them. The horrors in their faces, faces touched the very void of my soul. Expressions as something horrific happened to them. That's when the rest of the crew caught me. They stripped me naked and they locked me down here. They accused me that I was the one that... Trot? That says trot. Uh, brought the bad luck onto them by placing the talismans for them and blocking the pathways. All I wanted was to keep them safe, despite their uncivilized behaviors. Oh, I think I know what this does. Yeah, all right, well, we got that. Ooh, what does this say? I don't think we're going to know yet. We may have to come back and read that. Those glyphs. Nothing we can interact with in here. Okay, so we're gonna go back up. We're gonna put the chess piece on. Oh, no, come on. I just wanna point out, I'm thinking about it now. I may have been mistaken about the timed release of this game or not the, the timed release of the demo uh, there may not have been a demo I don't remember um, I just remember that I thought I, I seem to remember that there was a demo and that I missed the, the window on getting it and I understand that that helps build hype but I honestly think you do you're, you're doing more harm than you are good to selling your game by doing timed demos so I wonder if I have to play chess with a mystery person and I'll just keep coming back here and playing chess with them here, let's try it oh do I have to actually win okay uh Oh wait a minute! I, hold on. Let's. I'm gonna try and press the rook. No, that's the bishop out. So it's just gonna play itself. I don't have to worry about winning. I'm gonna castle. This is okay. That's my king. This is my queen. Better move that bishop, buddy. Okay, move that. And queen's in trouble. Move the queen back there. Move the rook up there. And that's their queen, so now that rook's in trouble. Why would he move back? He could have taken... Well, yeah, then... Okay, never mind. That was dumb. Just took my second uh, knight. 
Okay, so that was check. That was dumb too. Lost my queen. Unless he's got some sort of strategy worked out. Okay, there's check again. And that's check again. That's checkmate. Let me check my inventory. Is there any? See, I got these three notes here. It's as if I'm missing more notes. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I think that's just a little fun side thing to do. I don't think you have to do anything. I don't think you actually have to do that. So we're going to use that talisman to open up another path on the island here. I think the first path we're going to go to is over here. Oh, okay, it puts it back in my inventory. All right, well, I think we found some more of those around here. Can't remember if there was one back this way. There is a path down that way that we didn't take, but I kind of want to... I didn't cover all the ground over here yet. Okay, so nothing. I think there's one more of those Cthulhu monuments we can try and put the talisman in. And I think it's down here. Oh, this was the this was closed off before. Okay, so that's what opened up. What the hell was that? Hey. Uh, what is that, boys? Get out of my head. Agreed. Let's, uh, we're gonna backtrack a little bit first. I'm guessing this game has multiple endings and ways to get up, so we're just gonna... That's Dagon. I hope I don't... Should I be writing this shit down? We'll know soon enough, won't we? Sorry guys, I'm just checking back here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Aha! Uh -huh. We might we might have. Yeah, let's try going through here first. Come on! No, nothing happened. Give me my thing back. Sorry. Just check and recording. You know how I be. If you've watched any of my Let's Plays before, you know how it goes. I am super paranoid. Especially when I first started doing streaming, recording, that kind of stuff. Uh, I would just be, like, playing the game and, you know, talking and uh, not recording. And so I'd feel like sort of a moron afterwards. Okay. So I'm just curious what all this stuff is. Whoa, whoa, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? There's tentacles over the over the horizon there, over the top of that rock. I wonder if this is a uh, this is recently put in, it's a reference to those obelisks they were finding at the beginning of the year here. Oh, uh, this is Stop it. 
daughter's voice. Okay. Giant black orb. If you guys ever saw that movie Sphere, that's also a pretty decent Lovecraftian movie. It has Lovecraftian themes, it's not really, and it's not ultimately, it is scary, but it's not supposed to be scary. Uh, I mean, in the end, the, the resolution is pretty sunshine and rainbows. But that's a good, I liked that movie. Okay, so, could go there. Could go, he, no, we can't go here. Well, that dude said he wanted us to go to the pit but we don't always have to do what we're told. He's not the boss of us. Oh, Lord. Metallic sphere is marked with a figure of an octopus head. All right, so this doesn't lead to the rest of the island. All right, so I just want to make sure we have explored everything we need to. This guy is missing one. Well, we know where they have one. There's one up in the, the lighthouse. I didn't think we could grab it, but maybe we can. So far, I'm really digging this game. I was a little worried. I was just like, ah, am I going to be asking for a steam return on it if it doesn't turn out to be good? Also, if it's more than three or four hours, I think I'll be more or less pretty happy. Like, it's, like I said, Cthulhu slash Lovecraftian Mist would be amazing. I don't think it's quite up to that yet, but it would be cool if it was. Now, I... Could have sworn we tried to pick it up already, and we couldn't, but... Ah, there we go. Nice. Well, let's take care of that puzzle first, shall we? Give that guy a little old bowl of Yogg-Sothoth to eat. I need to get back into reading, well, just reading in general. I haven't been reading fiction for fun in a while, so I need to get back into reading some Lovecraft, though. I gotta finish up. I have all of his works. Um, I need to get, especially at the Mountains of Madness, because The Thing is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's heavily influenced... I also have the, the original short story, Who Goes There, um, that the, the thing is based on as well, that I need to read. So, so many things I need to read, and honestly, I should just, I gotta be better with time management, you know. Even, even producing content for this channel, it's just like, you know, I'm just terrible with time management. I need to get better at it. Okay, it was this little sir right here, I believe. Whoa, oh, Jesus! Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Jesus Christ, it scared the shit out of me. Can I go back in here? That was good, you got me. You got me. But I didn't get anything from that. There's like no cool loot or anything. I don't know, maybe it affects the ending. Part of me is sad that there's no sanity meter right now because, you know, love crafting game. But the other part of me is just like, yeah, it's becoming too uh, formulaic, so.
kind of happy that there's no sanity meter. Thus far, I mean, we're we're we've just started it. A lot a lot can happen. Now the soundtrack is really unnerving, I gotta say. It's doing a pretty good job. Let me see what the audio levels are like real quick. Make sure you, you guys should be able to hear that. I don't want it to be blasting your ears out or, you know, you're not able to hear anything on any of the commentary, but uh, it should be enough where you can really hear the soundtrack. I gotta say, I'm... This game is definitely getting to me way more than I thought it was would. Okay. Well, he said he wanted me to go out onto the pit. I fell into the pit. You fell into the pit. Any Parks and Rec fans out there? Well, I guess there's nothing for it. Lots of twisted bodies, and what the hell is going on over here? Mm -mm, I love me some mass graves. Alright, let's do it. Oh, nice! Teleport. Monolith is the key of the silence. Well, where are we to start with? I can't even see the lighthouse. No idea where we are. I feel like the lighthouse should be back that away. Doesn't move, okay. Ooh, that moon up there is really cool. I mean, I don't think it's the sun. Okay, we'll try the other ones. I was like, why did it just get all quiet? Because uh, of the, the actual sound. There's like a sound box that you can put in games and part of game design. It probably just stopped right there. Okie smokey. Don't know if this is a good idea or not. It's probably a terrible idea. Yeah, I don't see the lighthouse anywhere. Oh my god, there it is. It's way in the distance. Excellent soundtrack. Really, really great work. I'm telling you, I don't think it's ever been a better time to be a Lovecraft fan.
You guys ready? Pretty sure something creepy is about to happen. Jesus, it's alive. I gotta say, uh, the level of immersion in this game is pretty high, and the the scale, being able to see something like that, walk. I mean, this is like really what Lovecraft did, and this is what a lot of the games like the the more recent Call of Cthulhu game didn't really do well and uh, Sinking City had they definitely had a lot of elements of things like this so that was good um, but it wasn't the whole game but yeah this this is very much like the heart of Lovecraftian horror just the feeling I'm having right now looking at this it was even the feeling I had when I saw that giant shark's mouth damn That is cool. This game is awesome. I kind of don't want to look away, but I can't imagine it's going to do much more interesting stuff than just lumber around, so. I wonder if the talisman's going to start working on uh, those paths now that we've uh, done this I would bet you that it that's exactly what is gonna happen see you later buddy okay good that was like a little stairway out of there now, if we can see that thing off in the distance, that'll be awesome. Yep, there it is. He's right there. Excellent. Alright, let's get a move on and try and open up our Cthulhu paths. I mean, the Call of Cthulhu did have something like this, but it was at the very end, which was a nice sort of, like, crescendo or finale for the game. Really? Oh, I don't know what to do then. Maybe go back up in the lighthouse? There's something we gotta do up there. We'll try the other path, too, just in case. Wait a minute. Ah, very nice. That's what I thought. Boy, I remember my father talking about this island. He described it in a way that would scare the listener. He spoke of black butterflies, corpse candles, broken compasses. I feel like the best way to describe that guy's voice performance is if Sean Connery had an American accent. The late, great Sean Connery. Oh, here's one of the shark's tooth. There we go.
city. Hmm. What's back here? I like how the music keeps changing between like, ah, sort of a charming mystery, and then it's like, nope, there's still some really fucked up creepy shit going on. You know? Keep your wits about you. I like that. I think that's awesome. Is there something in this barrel I need to grab? I mean... Here's that dang gum old dead shark. Sending this message is a cry for help. The waves of the sea be kind. Fire the castaways. On the way this island is on the map. This doesn't make any sense. The sun is setting in the east. Far more miles to see from the scope that far. The odds are against us. There's something strange about Apollo. This is one big ass great white. Now I guess the mouth of the shark in there could have been No, it was bigger than this. It was way bigger than this. Yeah. But this is still a big ass great white. Although I think they can get this big. chain buried here. Oh, that's for the anchor. This little dinghy. Alright. <clears throat> Barely describe what I have witnessed today. That old fool Alex said he went insane. He started stuffing his mouth with the rocks. He kept doing so until his chin You don't say. That's whale bones. A small whale. I recognize this boat. It was made by an artist to represent our greatest catch. How did it end up here? This is meant to be completed by the end of December. It's still September. Despite his fear about the island, he would often come here fishing some very colorful fish. I remember finding myself quite disturbed as I watched him stuff his mouth with the raw meat. I don't know, depending on the fish, raw fish is pretty damn good. I think I've always preferred raw tuna too. I mean, seared ahi is pretty good, but uh, raw tuna is pretty damn tasty. It's very sweet, as meats go. Kind of a shitty thing to wish on someone you want to come rescue you. I hope you end up here too. Stuck in the same fucking situation we're stuck in. This beach just keeps getting bigger. 
What's that? That looks like something to pick up. Nope, just another shell. I kind of want to go under that rock formation there. Nope, can't. Nothing over here. Just tide pools. Of course, there's this. Uh, bless. God bless you. God damn, what the fuck was that? I'm starting to wonder if there's some sort of like uh, end game thing that has to do with running into too many of those. I was about to say, if I'm not mistaken, this is. Oh, that's the color out of space. That is the color out of space. Especially the newer rendition of it. Um, they picked magenta because it's. Forget there's something about magenta not being like on the visible spectrum or and that's not true otherwise we wouldn't see it but you know what I mean there's like it's like a color that shouldn't exist or it's a non-color I don't know but there's something about magenta that's why they chose it I'll have to look it up again for you guys um, but This is an awesome game so far. I am really enjoying this. Although there's only 16 achievements, and I feel like I've gotten five or six already. So I'm a little worried that it's not going to be super long. Again, it, right now it's only 10 bucks, which I think is pretty fair considering it's a brand new release. But uh, typically for these kind of walking sims, I prefer if they're not super expensive. Um, that's why services like xbox game pass are fantastic because you can check them out in a very low risk environment and if they turn out to have a little more depth to them um i'm trying to think of a game i played recently that was uh, walking i thought it was just gonna be another walking simulator and then there was actually quite a bit going on and it's actually a great game god and of course it its name eludes me right now but if i can think of it guys i'll let you know because um it's, it's fun to find little treasures like that and be like, no, this was actually super awesome. There's a lot to this game. You know, so, uh, you know, Game Pass is a great place to try stuff like that out. I think the occupation might be sort of qualify as that. Man, I've been meaning to play that. I have it on Xbox. I, I didn't anticipate getting a gaming PC uh, as soon as I did. So I bought it for Xbox. Yeah, I picked up the occupation for Xbox, so uh, trying to, I, I may just do a review in it. I'm not going to do a Let's Play. I'll do a review. Um, so basically, I'll just record my footage like I usually do. The only problem is it's like the footage is not great quality coming off the Xbox, and I'd prefer to use better quality stuff. Some teeth are missing. So there's one more tooth we're missing from that shark's jaw if we don't find it on the next beach we may have to backtrack and go back to the first beach and look for it um but i want to i want to get that because i was i wasn't being super careful but i was trying to keep an eye out for for shark's teeth and they put it in an obvious spot it was right next to one of the messages in a bottle so i would imagine the other tooth is going to be somewhere where they would expect the player to look but uh this is this the way I don't think this is it. Oh, no, it is. Never mind.
But yeah, so that kind of bums me out. Um, but it, it, the occupation hasn't really gone on sale. I think it didn't sell super well. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think the occupation um, sold very well, and I think when, whenever a game sells terribly, oh, I can't grab the seagull eggs. Whenever a game sells terribly, they typically don't like to put it on sale unless they're just trying to recoup costs or whatever. So you'll notice they do that a lot. They'll just be like, "Fuck it, we're just gonna keep it at the normal price." So it hasn't really gone on sale, so I, again, I don't want to spend money on a game I already own, so I'll just play it on the Xbox. But if I had a choice now, I'd prefer to play it on the PC. Um, I forgot how much I fucking loved PC gaming. I went back and replayed uh, X-Wing Alliance the other day, and I put on X-Wing Alliance Update. So, PC gaming's just, that's where it's at. I'll try and stay on topic here, it's not like a live stream, it's a let's play. <laughs> I was about to go on a whole diatribe about Star Wars Squadrons. I may do a rant about it, actually. Just looking for those shark's teeth. Excuse me. Might do a double feature with this one with uh, Canarium, which is another Lovecraftian sort of walking simulator type thing. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep my eye out for shark's teeth. I don't want to miss them. I'm guessing there's some cool achievement or cool secret we can find if we get that. What the hell is this? It has an eye in the middle and it looks like an organic star-like figure. So the old gods, I believe. That was a game that was terrible. Uh, it was something of the terror of the old gods or whatever. That's a little adventure. Yeah, that was terrible. I'm so pissed that I got that. Although I think the DLC is free, so I think I can play it once it's released, but still. Cool trident. We do not dare to walk the shore when the night comes. Something in the dark seems to follow us in, in great speed. We hid inside the small cave. We had to stay there for the rest of the night. We begin to fear that we are not no longer safe on this island. We have to leave. But, see, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Either they didn't proofread this, or, like I said, English is not their first language. Um, which is fine. That's totally fine. It's a really great effort. The writing overall is fantastic. So I don't want to discourage anybody who's, you know, I speak two other languages and I'm terrible. Terrible. Not anywhere near this good, so... Um, uh, we begin to fear that we're no longer safe uh, we have to leave but seems everything uh, works against us its long tentacle legs seem to be very strong a boulder before it shuddered and shattered into pieces uh, with a single strike my other half mind tells me I should stay behind and study them and the other half tells me I should leave now John, one of the crew members, found a camera. If we get it to work, we should start taking, or we should try taking few pictures. Yeah, so there's some um, indefinite articles and stuff like that missing and <coughs> <clears throat> from 
phraseology is a little. So I'm just that's I'm just curious. I'm not I'm not criticizing. I'm just curious if it's a uh, a language thing or if it was just a, a a haste thing with typos and stuff. That looks like a warship. Can I get up there? No. All right, we'll take another sweep for those shark's teeth, but. Now I'm concerned it's back on the one, uh, or it could be on the very first beach we went to. I'll make some coffee soon. It's getting a bit late. I'm trying to reset my sleep schedule, so I'm actually going to be up all night and the rest of the day. So I definitely need to stay awake. Oh, that's cool. And another photograph. Daughter and a puppy. I'm sure nothing tragic will happen there. Nothing heart wrenching. Okay, let's go back and pick this up. Where's my shark's teeth? I want it. Reading a part of my daughter's story gave me some sort of happiness. And I can't take my mind off the idea she's been taken by one of those creatures. Is that one? No. I mean, we generally know what to look for now, so it shouldn't be too hard to spot. I just don't want to miss it. I'm sort of a completionist. I'm very much a completionist, too, when it comes to games where being a completionist is not an extreme slog or an extreme waste of time. I have to commend the uh, Dishonored series for being very good about that. You can get 100% of the achievements and do a bunch of stuff without, like, you know, breaking your back. I mean, it's not easy, but it's it's totally doable if you understand the mechanics of the game. And you don't mind replaying some levels. Um, plus, it kind of shows you some stuff. I did not know that you could play Dishonored 2 without uh, using any powers, but you totally can. And I remember I was watching a Razor Fist stream of Dishonored 2 recently, and he's just like, yeah, I bet you the game sucks like that. Actually, I gotta say, Arcane did a great job. It's totally playable without powers. Um, totally playable. There, I had no issues whatsoever. Um, you can still climb and go wherever you need to, so that was pretty cool. It's not my fault. The person has already died. I spoke about a shadow whispering between the rocks. I can't stay on this island anymore. What do I do now? I'm also wondering if uh, the... the language inconsistencies are meant to represent the declining mental state of the people writing these notes it could be that it's hard to know for sure i'm going to check out this stuff first i'm i'm afraid that's going to teleport me somewhere or something solitude and peace is what a soul seeks being free. But they die in vain. It appears they were murdered. What a horrible way to find solitude. That is a torso with tentacles growing out of it. So it's, there's a lot of like turn of the century tech, but then there's other stuff too. So it's like, I can't really place the time period, but the plastic jugs tell me that it's in more modern times. 
that boat too. That looks like something. It. it oh, that's. <laughs> I was like, that looks like something from the seventies. Uh, it is. That's the orca from Jaws. And those are the barrels that they used to capture Jaws with. And Jaws is probably that shark on the beach up there. I wonder if the other shark tooth is going to be in here. Because Jaws came out 78? Something like that? 77? Oh, we can. We learned how to jump. Excellent. Yeah, I seen it too. There's, that looks like a shark's tooth, but it's not the same. It's not a real shark's tooth. Are there any other Jaws references here? There's the, they're the barrels. The alcohol, I guess, could be a Jaws reference. I wonder if the doll is too. Yeah, this is definitely the little galley from... This is the ship. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's the orca. Very nice. Nice little reference there. And the tanks. Why are you so noisy? Cut it out. Yeah, here, here's the shark cage. Oh, I can't get up there. No, nope, can't. It won't let me. Well, let's try going this way. Nope, won't let us. I guess the movie Jaws is sort of Lovecraftian too. The idea of a you know a shark that big. Just starting to eat everybody. I see it, guys. I'm just, you know, checking for that damn tooth. I want to find it. Nope, she's not here. Yep, there's those weird fish people they were talking about. Anything in the camera I can take? It's like a jewel with some tentacles around it that shows the night sky. That's pretty cool. I think I have some... I Teleport again. The hell are these? Oh, these are the little ink monsters that we read about in that note. Jesus. Wow. That is awesome. Eesh. Cut it out. This is a humpback, I believe. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that's a... Hey, go away. 
Come on, let's fight. Oh, fighting is not a. Nope. Get the fuck out of here. Shit. Stop touching me. Stab it. Oh, Jesus Christo. Oh, God. Okay. No, no. Let's try that again. gonna be one of those games so I want to just look at that thing because it's so cool I wonder if I can sneak past that can uh, deep one well we're gonna try it wait maybe I can just jump over here and avoid him no nope. That seems to be ripped straight out of um, the mist. The Frank Darabont mist game. Or not game, movie. God damn it. What the hell? Okay. Just vamanos, let's go. Come on, buddy. Woohoo. Yes, screw you. Go to hell. What is this? I know of this. My father used to make offerings to the sea. So his dad was some sort of Cthulhu cultist. I mean, we've already established that. Asymmetrical chain is, un is unknown to me. I wouldn't risk taking this with me, and I don't want to know what happened to these guys either. Yeah, that's straight out of the mist. That is awesome, too. Double check those numbers. Oh, great, a diving suit. Because I want to spend more time underwater with these fucking nightmare creatures. Can I get into the boat? I can't. No. Alright. Well. There's nothing else for it. We gotta do it. Where's my damn shark's tooth? If you guys haven't seen The Mist and you're into Lovecrafty and stuff, remember Frank Darabont is the director. Uh, Thomas Jane is in it. It's an excellent Lovecraftian movie. It is so good. And it's uh, genuinely unnerving and creepy. Is that a submarine? Yes, it is.
I think the way these dive suits work, I have to have an air hose that you don't just put it on and then go like, okay, I'm just gonna go underwater now. What was that thing that was in the distance? Oh, the movie Underwater is also a sort of Lovecraft movie. It was alright. There's definitely some good stuff in it, but... I wouldn't say on the whole the movie is good. I would say that, uh... But it definitely does some things right for a Lovecraftian movie. It's not terrible. It's definitely, I think it's worth a watch. Seems right. Okay, that's right. That's right. That's right. And there we go. That one's done. That's right. That's right. Are they all the same? I think they are. That's a shame. Shadow and I came to a curious sort of an agreement. My lack of empathy has phased out any trace of fear. How did my monotonous self and closer to the fact that nothing surprises me anymore. Have I lost my humanity? Not lost. Not discovering its true potential. How far will you go, Matthew? How far will you go? Where? I would fall into the darkest pit to save her. I'm really glad to see Javier Bardem is still getting work. That was a yoke. But it does sound like him. Oh, wait. The guy who's doing the dark shadow voice is uh, trying to sound like him a bit. This is definitely largely reminding me of the Sunken City. Or Sinking City. I think it's Sinking City. So we have to get eaten by this giant. I don't know if I want to go in there. Am I supposed to go in there? 
and get eaten? I don't think so, because there's multiples of them. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Hmm. Let's try it. Oh, Jesus! God damn it. Well, we're almost certainly gonna die. I hate these games that do this shit. Because if you don't start running, you give no, you're given no chance to figure out that you need to start running. How far away back do we have to go? Okay, that's not too far. And there's no run while we're in the dive suit, so. But yeah, you're given no chance to, to realize you have to start running. Um, and you have a maximum speed and the creature has a maximum speed. And so if you're within range to get caught, he'll just keep hitting you and that's it. There's nothing you can do. Um, and again, I'm not, it's not hard. It's just annoying. I was wondering why we were getting the chase music. I'm like, we haven't done anything. So I'm going to follow the purple path. I imagine that's where we're supposed to go. If I'm not mistaken, it's this way. Oh, fucking goddammit. Okay. Oh my god! I do not like being chased by anything in games. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. I really hate it. Alright, we're gonna go to this thing. I guess the safety of its embrace. Yeah. Actually gonna explore because I'm not entirely certain. First of all, I don't think it drove it away, I think it killed it. So we'll see, I don't know. Yeah, those are from At the Mountains of Madness, I believe. Um, I think you can take multiple paths over here, but I'm just curious if there's uh, stuff to find in these caves. Yeah, thankfully this game wasn't isn't too bad with that kind of stuff. So far, the chases are pretty easy, but it still annoys me. I just don't like being chased by things I can't kill in video games. It's a huge pet peeve of mine. Okay, there's nothing. Thankfully, I don't... Yeah, the Sinking City uh, does not have any kind of stuff like that. Well, okay, there, there are areas where um, if you do battle in those areas your chances of winning are pretty slim so you kind of just rush through them but you can kill basically every enemy in the game oh we got another one of these Hope the game didn't freeze.
Oh, pfft. I was like, is the game just waiting for me to do something? Oh, sweet. This is awesome. All right, give me a sec, guys. Okay. Put the space stone in there. Look behind you. This protoplasmic abomination will consume everything in its way. Hurry. Find the artifact. It is in the safe of its time. There we go. Okay, I have tentacles growing out of my fingers now. And there's a giant, this is like a yog sothoth thing. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I think I got stuck. Where, where, where am I supposed to go? Oh, hold on. Okay. Is this not the right... Now I'm confused. Okay, so I shot the... We were down there, and now we teleported. We can use this to fight monsters, I guess. I think we're trying to get there. This little teleporter here, probably. Okay.
guess we just keep following the red lights and just killing anything that tries to mess with us. Damn it. Uh, oh shit, 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 just go. Just go. Just go. Where the hell are we going? Fucking god damn it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god god. No, just leave me alone. I didn't want to fight in the first place. I never wanted to fight you. Oh, fucking ah. Okay. Well, we know what to do now. I'm going to turn the sound down. It's too much. Alone, fucking bitch. This is horribly designed. Call of you. Oh my god, what a nightmare! Literally, fucking dude. Okay, I think we're relatively safe in here, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. through here? No. Seriously, no idea what to do. Well, there's one, two, three eyeballs in the room. There's four of those chairs. I think they're still on the other side there. Um... God, I guarantee that door is going to open as soon as... 
Okay, that's four hands. What more do you want? Oh, okay, that's open. Not happy about this. Not enjoying this at all. Floating man. Andrew, you are aware of another voice. Ignore it. We are one step closer to achieving what we came for. Do not let the chasm of the void take you. Your daughter needs you to be strong now. Follow me. Okay, well, uh, as you guys know, that I, as I just stated, I really, really don't like games where you're constantly being chased by monsters. You can't really fight them or kill them. Um, it's one of the reasons, even though I think Alien Isolation is an excellent game, I have trouble going back and playing it. Uh, where's my damn shark's tooth? Oh, alright, so we're gonna go back. I'm guessing they're gonna throw more monsters at me. That's what it sounds like with the music anyways. And I still have the artifact, so... That's Dagon. That might actually be him. And this looks a lot like the uh, how the area in the book or the short story is described. Where the sailor first encounters Dagon. Oh, I'm pissed, man. We missed our shark's tooth. Yeah, this definitely looks like Dagon's... So we're supposed to release Dagon. I could have sworn Cthulhu was in this game. They always don't want to put Cthulhu in these games. I mean, we saw him earlier, but we're he said release him, and now we've got Dagon in a prison there. I think they want us to release Dagon. There's the one that crawls. Apparently, maybe he's the enemy of the guy that we've been talking to. I don't know. Oh, we can't go over there. There's like a campsite and everything. Let me go check it out, please. There's shark's teeth. I know it. That's going to bug me. All right. So, enough dicking around. Let's get her done.
Oh, that's not a statue. I should know better by now. What the hell do I do with this? Well, let's try screwing with the other thing then. This is odd. Just gonna check our controls. <laughs> Hold to use artifact slash press to fight back. Okay. Okay, this I have no idea what to do now, guys. I'm pressing buttons. Nothing's happening. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. What the...
That was dumb. Wait a minute. This looks a little bit more off kilter now. But let's try this. I'm just curious. Oh, there we go. It's kind of a silly puzzle. Hey. Seems like a bit of a time-wasting puzzle. Okay. Oh, well, that thing's spinning now. That's probably a good thing. Come on, Dagon. Let's get to it, buddy. Holy shit, this is awesome. That was cool. Where the hell we go now? Where's my damn shark's tooth?
Can we now finally go over here? No. What if I go over here? No. Come on, man. I think that is the sun actually, it's not the moon. And it is in weird positions. Doesn't really make any sense. Maybe there's a way through now over here? I doubt it, I highly doubt it. I think I know what I have to do. Or at least I thought I did and then I just forgot it while I was saying that. Okay, let's go back to the shore. This might actually be unity. Some of these plant, uh, the plant life bits look like a unity common assets I mean there's nothing wrong with unity I guess but uh, I've always had my issues with it So there's a couple of things that we could try. One is going over here. That's not going to work. The other is uh, that that whatever dodecahedron or whatever is over there. We didn't finish grabbing. Or I mean, we didn't grab it or, or we didn't finish. I mean, it's purple now, which means something about it has changed. We didn't touch it again. We didn't mess with anything. Let's go see what we can do over here. There we go. A little bit of a bug. You can release Dagon before that's totally done. Oh, please don't take me back to the fucking scary place. <laughs> please, I don't want to go back. Ugh. It, that's just mean. That was not what I intended to do. I have no, I, no idea what, what's going on here. I want my damn shark's tooth. I hope they let me go back and get the shark's tooth. I'm going to be pissed if I can't. Okay, so that's what we do not want to piss that thing off. That's what happened. I just needed to test something. Can we get close to it? Yes. Like a portal. Yep. Ah, oh, no more scariness, please. I don't want to fight any more things. What the hell is this?
Ah, that's a torso. I think it, that there's supposed to be a head on it now. It's this one. It's making noise. head is it so there's this symbol on the body but imagine the head has a similar symbol Ah, there we go. I'm only gonna say this once. I do not wanna have to run from air. Ah, this looks like I gotta run. This thing. Marjorie's we will need one of my many forms. Okay. Don't know if that was the right thing or not. Stop coming out. Oh, God, dude. Just leave me alone. Oh, God. I hate being chased by stuff. No, you go to hell. God damn bitch. Leave me alone. Fucking asshole. Where am I supposed to go? No fucking clue. <gasps> ah. Alright, we're gonna try this again. No clue where I'm fucking supposed to go. <laughs> no hints or anything either. And again, I hate this kind of shit in games. Absolutely hate it. Uh, doesn't make it more scary, it just makes it annoying for me. I guess go through here, we'll follow the red lights.
Fucking god damn it! Ugh. Can you guys tell how much I hate that shit? So I've noticed a lot of these games are very H.R. Geiger-esque. They set the sort of nether Cthulhu realm up as you've got Lust from Beyond, Scorn, this, uh, Agony. Well, no, not Agony. There's another, there's another couple of them now. Please do not take me back to the Nightmare Realm. I'm not happy there. I don't want it. I don't like it. I don't needs it. Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to go down that way. Please sprint again. Oh my god. If this is a bug, I think it's a bug. Shit. This is so annoying. Okay, yeah, so we're not supposed to go up here in the foliage. Well, I was running before. Alright. Well, that's obnoxious. The big black pyramid in my hand also sort of Reminds me of that movie, The Void. Another great Lovecrafting movie, if you like Lovecraft stuff. That's probably one of the my favorites. Super fun to watch around Halloween. Sort of John Carpenter-esque. Also, lots of gore, practical effects. Well, I think I'm going to call it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think we're going to get a chance to go back and uh, check out what that shark's tooth does. Which is a big shame. I'm guessing it was on the very first beach we were at, or uh, maybe we have to grab it from the shark's mouth or something, but... <clears throat> there is the outside possibility the finale of the game will take place there, but I doubt it. I think we're at the finale. I think Cthulhu's subconscious was the final boss, if you will. This looks like an end. This looks like an end. This looks like an ending area. 
where the game concludes. Oh, bones. Yeah, they want us to go up there. I'm going back to that lighthouse. I'm going to put that goddamn shark's tooth in. A lot of murder on this island. Ah, what is this? It's another pyramid. No shark's teeth. If there's a way back to the lighthouse, we may have some hope yet, but I, I don't think there will be. Let's go up the beach here, see what there is. I think we're a long ways from the lighthouse. Nope, oh, invisible walls. Okay. Probably meant to go find this. I do get annoyed. It's a little pet peeve of mine in games when they don't really tell you, like, hey, you're not coming back here, ever. Even though this game seemed like a sort of Metroidvania at the beginning, it's not. Once you press one of these portals, that's it, you're done. But it's probably like the chess game thing where that's it. You just get a um, achievement. It probably doesn't open a door or anything. It probably just gives you an achievement for uh, putting your all the teeth in the jaw. Is that the obelisk? It's not moving. Wait a minute. And this is this one? This is this one? And this is this one? This goes right here. Look at those things. Who is this mortal? How is it possible he has the eye of the gatekeeper on his hand? And that's the eye. The eye. It's impossible. Something greater in the shadows. Something is forcing his hand. I wonder what their favorite word is. You seek an audience with the great old one. I do. Now the character sounds like Josh Brolin from True Grit. I kind of wish they'd made Cthulhu a little bit bigger.
think that was not the right word choice there. Unhinged means uh, we've gone insane. Um, I think that he's trying to imply that we're we're still sane even after witnessing Cthulhu. So there's something special about us. This is awesome. This is just like a love letter, a fan love letter to all things Cthulhu, or all things uh, Lovecraftian, especially the Cthulhu mythos. And, you know, like I said, other movies and stuff too. Like The Void is pretty heavily referenced with some stuff right here. Okay, so we're missing one of these. It doesn't move. Okay. Oh, that's where we came, that's where we let Dagon go from. can power this up. Let's go down the beach, see what's up. Yeah, I wish they'd made him, I mean, he's pretty big, but I wish they'd made him even bigger. I mean, when I think of Cthulhu, I think of like, just towering over even like New York City, you know? just immeasurably huge and they did a pretty good job I think it's a little silly that he talks to you though that's very non Cthulhu mythos if he sort of like whisk like there were whispers on the wind that would make more sense but him talking directly to you and laughing at you like oh, oh, mere mortal that's a little silly for the Cthulhu mythos but whatever I it hasn't like ruined anything for me I'm still really enjoying the game Was it worth, what, I, I paid 10 or $12? It was like 12 bucks. Is it worth that? It remains to be seen. Um, if it ends in the next, like, 20 minutes, I don't know. It's not very long with not a ton of replay value for what it is. But if we've got a bit of time left on it, then maybe it's not too bad. The only one thing I'm I'm possibly hoping is the shark tooth thing is part of like something at the finale, like we go back to the lighthouse in the finale. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Nope. That didn't work. no hidden statue in that thing oh maybe I have to go in the water here and go up into that tunnel let's try that nope down here maybe nope nope Check our inventory real quick. We haven't checked it in a while. I have lost everything. Okay. So we had idols of Cthulhu and a bunch of other stuff. And like, apparently we didn't need that. I don't know if there's any decisions to actually be made in this game.
Okay. Yeah, if you heard me earlier, I was talking about a, a waste of time uh, Lovecraftian game on Steam. I think it's called Rise of the Old Ones. It takes place at a uh, college that's for some reason abandoned, and you have to figure out what happened to everybody, and it's a big Lovecraftian mystery, but uh, it's a huge disappointment and a waste of time. Oh, damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hate it here. Uh, I can already hear fucking horrifying things. I don't want to be here. <sighs> Just. What am I in Cthulhu's ear? This time. This looks like a chase. Tired of being chased by stuff. Nah, I have to play Canarium too, and I know there's chase being chased by stuff in that game, and I'm not looking forward to it. Because I hate it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, don't touch me. Fuck you. Oh, god damn it. They're gonna fucking kill me, aren't they? I guess it does more damage now? I have no idea.
Okay. That was something. I'm starting to. Th well, I don't know. It could be Unreal. It could be Unity. I really don't know. The depth of field effect here is actually looking pretty good. And uh, a lot of these textures have a very sort of wet, unreal look to them, but it could be Unity as well. No idea. Oh, can't take my little buddy with me to help me fight more bosses, and I guess I have to run again. Can seriously? Don't know where I'm going. Oh, God damn it. See, I just don't like... This would have been better as a fucking... Just an adventure game. Alright, come get me, bro. Why is he not dying, dude? Q. Now it's bugged. Jesus. At least you can kill these ones, but it's just annoying. Now that I have a tactic for fighting them, though, it's not too bad. Where's he gonna come from? No idea where to go either. Getting some System Shock 2 vibes here. I honestly think we're in like Cthulhu's brain or something. That looks like a way out. over these fucking sequences.
just gonna go towards it. Yep. <laughs> That's intense for me. I don't like I don't like stuff. Although it wasn't too bad. I mean it's really easy. I'm doing everything my first try, but still. I'm loving this game. I mean, I don't like those sequences for sure, but whatever. They're gonna keep fucking. Fuck you. Q. Fuck you, leave me alone! Which one didn't I fucking activate? Oh, I think I get it. They launch new ones every time you do the eyes. Okay. Watcher also from uh, Hellraiser. more combat in this game than I was expecting like I said if it would have just been left crafty and missed that would have been fine with me I think that's yog -Sothoth. oh Azathoth oh no hold on Looks like that was my birth. Man, these are some beautiful looking graphics. This is a beautiful game. It is just a joy to play as a, a Lovecraft fan. I am, this is kind of what I've been looking for for a while in a Lovecraft, not, not exactly, but very close.
So they used me as a tribute or sacrifice to enter the realm of uh, Azathoth or Yogsathoth, whichever. Don't remember. Man, this looks cool. That she is. You know, I was thinking of getting out of the fishing business. I can't imagine leaving you for months while you have to raise our child alone. What if something happens? I'll see about a job in town next week. I'm confused what's going on. Is that me? I think it is, because my daughter, I had a daughter. So I was somehow given to Yogg-Sothoth. I am Yogg-Sothoth's ward, or Azathoth, or whoever the hell that is. I'm not understanding the first part with the tribute to Yog Sathoth or whatever. I think this is intending to be more re revelatory than it is. Um, Stop lying to me. I did what you asked for. I'm getting her back. Perhaps there is still a way to make her real if you manage to reach her. Your strong will can influence us both. Okay. Interesting.
Yeah, Ares Strogonis. Greek, I guess. CEO, visuals, lighting, level design, concept art, gameplay, and blu blueprint programming. I guess it's a Greek game. So yeah, most of the game was done by a team of, it looks like, four, five people, certainly less than 10 with uh, help from others. I thought it was an excellent game. The ending, I mean, the, the plot was a little, eh. Um, ending was a little anticlimactic, but uh, overall, I, I loved pretty much every minute of it. Um, me, personally, I would have preferred it be more like a walking simulator, not as much combat, but I will say this, it never got boring because there was combat. You know, the chase sequences. And again, they didn't make them too hard. I mean, I don't like that you're not given enough time to be like, oh crap, I have to run now. So you're going to die that first time regardless. Um, that's a big issue with designing games like this. But the chases were never that hard. All you got to do is just, as soon as it starts, just hold down the W button and that's it. You know, you'll make it through. Um... I'm assuming these are all patrons who donated on either on Patreon or Kickstarter. I'm really curious now if it was Unity or not. Maybe there's an after the credits sequence. Maybe not. It sounds like we're going straight to title. Yeah. So. Oh, what's cool? Look at this. I can try continue. Hold on. I'm just going to check guys real quick. Um, it's good at Steam. All right. So we got 11 out of 13 achievements. We played about three hours. I want to see what achievements we missed. Oh, we can find all the coins in the lighthouse and one hidden achievement. I'm guessing the hidden achievement is uh, the shark teeth. I may go back and do those right now. Let's just go back to the game and see what continue does. It's probably just going to give us that last checkpoint. Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. So we're actually going to go to Well guys, so that was the uh, shore and uh, I may go back and, and grab those last few things uh, just to get the achievements um, But uh, yeah, no, I thought it was a great game. Um, coming in at about three hours, I paid, let's see, what is it on sale for right now? Because it pretty much just launched. 
Uh, let's go back to the shore here. I just need to check this. Let's see. Let's go to my library. The shore. Let's see the store page. So she is on sale right now for yeah about twelve bucks. It's uh. Razor Chroma RGB. Oh, okay. There was probably there's a patch. There was an issue with the thing, and it was launched. So apparently, it released about a month ago. I had no idea. Um, is the developer worked on? No, this is his first game. Yeah, it's pretty much developed by one dude. Um, this Steam. Oh, actually, it's getting mixed reviews. Yeah, I agree. I think it's pretty short for the asking price. Um, I mean, I think for twelve bucks. That should be the retail price, actually. 25 is a bit expensive. I'm understanding, though, because, you know, this guy probably spent the better part of the last couple of years putting this game together. So that's quite a bit of his time put into a game, and if it doesn't sell super well, you know, so he's hoping that the, the list price will kind of bring in enough revenue for him. But it's going to be off-putting for a lot of people. I mean, I think if it regularly retailed for 15 and it went on sale for 7 it would be a lot more reasonable. Um, I also think that, like I said, if the action segments were spaced out more, especially towards the end with more puzzle solving, you could have padded out the runtime of the game to about... I don't know. I think if you want to charge 25 bucks, your game ought to be... Like at least a between eight and twelve hour campaign, you know, a three hour campaign for what is essentially a walking simulator most of the time is it's pretty steep, you know, twenty five bucks, twelve. I mean, am I a little pissed? I'm, I'm happy to support the guy because I think the project is awesome, and it's clear that he was doing this largely by himself. So I'm happy to support the guy because I think this was fantastic quality work. So most of what I am getting out of the value of the purchase is support for the the artist support for the author but in terms of value i'm getting out of the game i'm not getting much especially since i'm pretty sure i can go back and 100 percent this in about 20 minutes um by just restarting the game so you know you got to take that into consideration um and if you've watched this let's play but i mean like i said i would support the guy i think as a first effort it's fantastic it's amazing and I would love to see him do something else maybe a little bit more involved in a walking simulator or a game like this with more puzzle solving elements um, using the cube to have to fight them or the the artifact to have to fight the monsters was pretty cool uh, I've always been of the opinion that I would love to have a sort of system shock style immersive sim with lots of puzzle solving elements kind of like a pathologic 2 but and Pathologic 2 is a bit Lovecraftian. It's a bit, it's a bit out there. But I would like to have something, you know, sort of akin to a Pathologic 2, but, you know, uh, within the, the the literature of H.P. Lovecraft. I I thought we were gonna get something like that with the game Call of Cthulhu. I thought maybe, oh well, maybe it'll be like, um, you know, sort of like a survival horror with, you know, you have to watch ammo and reserves and you have to go through. I actually I thought. Uh, Call of Cthulhu is Cthulhu is going to be a bit like Resident Evil 7, but set in a, um, mainly in like an asylum and a creepy mansion with lots of Lovecraftian elements. And it wasn't really what we got. Uh, it, it's it's more of a linear kind of story-driven game. A lot of the discrete gameplay systems in it don't really work super well. Uh, I would say this game's discrete gameplay systems work very well. It's a good walking sim. It's a good puzzle game for the most part, and um, the combat segments, as you know, I don't like when I can't fight something, so I actually did, you know, now that I'm thinking back on it, fighting those things in the tunnel was actually pretty cool, because now, you know, you've spent the whole game running from stuff, now you get to fight it, and you can kill it, um, and then you have the big boss fight, and then you have a fight after that, and going from feeling so vulnerable to feeling very, like, empowered at the end was pretty cool. Um, it's kind of the same progression that Alien Isolation has. Like, there's basically nothing you can do against the alien at the beginning of the game and at the end of the game. You still can't fight it head-on, 
but if it if you just need to move you can run and if he pops out in front of you you can just blast him with the flamethrower to get him to run away real quick just so you can keep moving because like the station's blowing up or whatever um I also think that this was incredibly faithful to a lot of the source material. If you're a huge Lovecraft fan and you haven't really been getting your your fill from like, I'd say The Sinking City was pretty good, but it was doing so much of its own thing that you were really missing out on some of this great stuff. Um, this was just all about the spectacle. It really drove home the idea of and one of the one of the definite sort of hallmarks of cosmic horror is feeling small, feeling vulnerable, feeling insignificant, and feeling uh, terrified because you are you are a tiny little thing compared to these giant leviathans and giant monoliths and stuff like that. And so, you know, seeing Dagon rise out of the surf and just start, you know, stomping around, seeing that, that obelisk turn out to have legs and, you know, seeing Cthulhu hurl, hurl a... a steam liner at you is pretty cool pretty cool shit so um the, the that aspect of lovecraftian horror seeing some of lovecraft's monsters from a first person perspective um is fantastic and i think lovecraft is one of the few genres that really translates better to games than it does to movies because in the game setting you're you are immersed in the, the character's point of view um, so being immersed in that and then having to literally tilt your camera up to look up at this giant fucking monster coming out of the sea and just feel like, oh shit, um, that, that is a big aspect of Lovecraftian horror. The Sinking City did that well in certain areas, pr pretty much just the underwater areas, but I think there was some stuff towards the late game where it did that well. Um, and that's something that's sadly missing in a lot of Lovecraft games. They want to put tentacled monsters in, and they want to put people going insane, and they want to put cults in, but they don't really get that aspect of, uh, especially parts of the Cthulhu mythos. So uh, it was really, really um, awesome to play this game, and it was pretty much what I wanted out of this game. I got pretty much everything I wanted. Like I said, my only gripe is I wish the runtime were a little longer. If it had been five or six hours, I don't think I'd bitch at all, especially getting it for 12 bucks. I think it was very smart of the developer to put it on sale for 12 bucks right now um, to entice people to pick it up. It's been on my wish list for a long time and I finally got a chance to pick it up. So I hope you guys liked the Let's Play. Um, if you like what you saw here, please uh, show some love to the developer, pick up the game. Um, get yourself a copy and experience it for yourself. Maybe you'll solve puzzles in a different way or probably not a different way, but maybe you'll figure them out faster. Spend your own time exploring the island. You know, try and get all the achievements. Find that damn shark tooth. Find it, people. It must be found. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for joining me for this Let's Play. I had a blast and I hope that uh, you found it uh, interesting and you had a good time. That's it for me.